In order to know the soundness of the financial policies of the firm, we are going to calculate this debt equity ratio. Interest coverage ratio is equal to profit before charging interest and income tax divided by fixed interest charges. What is the formula of debt equity ratio? So your formula is debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Hello everyone, I am Harshita, lecturer, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram PU College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. My dear students, today we are in the third session of your chapter 5, that is from part B, Accounting Ratios. So already we have discussed two sessions from this chapter. So let us quickly recall what we have discussed in a previous session. So in a previous session, we have discussed about liquidity ratio. So where we are going to learn how the firm is been or how to what extent the firm is liquid. So th there we have learned about current ratio as well as quick ratio. So what are the ratio that comes under liquidity ratio, current ratio as well as quick ratio. So what is the formula for current ratio, current assets divided by current liabilities. Whereas for what is the formula of quick ratio that is liquid assets or quick assets divided by current liabilities. So as per earlier question paper pattern they used to ask for 6 marks but as per the change revised question paper pattern so you don't get a question for 6 marks under liquidity ratio where they used to ask about current ratio as well as quick ratio. So this time no need to worry you will not get a question from liquidity ratio. Now, in today's session, we shall move on to the next type of ratio that is solvency ratio. So, let us see what is this solvency ratio, what are the ratios that comes under solvency ratio. So, under solvency ratio, the first ratio is debt equity ratio, where you are going to compare your long term debt with that of equity of the business. So, let us see what is this debt equity ratio. This ratio expresses the relationship between long term debt. So I have already told you we are going to compare your long term debt and shareholders fund. So shareholders fund is also called as what? Equity. So here you are going to take into consideration two aspects that is long term debt as well as shareholders fund or equity. It indicates the proportion of funds which are acquired by long term borrowings in comparison to shareholders fund. You are going to compare your long term debt with that of shareholders funds. So the comparison is made between these two. This ratio is calculated to ascertain the soundness of the long term financial policies of the firm. So to what extent the organization is financially strong. So in order to know the soundness of the financial policies of the firm, we are going to calculate this debt equity ratio. So let us see what is the formula of debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio is equal to debt divided by equity or here debt means what? Long term debt divided by equity is nothing but your shareholders fund or net worth of the business. So what is the formula for debt equity ratio? Long term debt divided by shareholders fund or debt divided by equity. So hope you are clear about debt equity ratio. Now moving on to the second type total assets to debt ratio. As the word itself tells here, we are going to compare the total assets of the firm with that of long term debt. So that we will get this total assets to debt ratio. So let us see what it is. The ratio is a variation of the debt equity ratio and gives the same indication of debt equity ratio. So it is similar to your debt equity ratio but here you are going to compare your total assets with that of long term debts. In this ratio the total assets are expressed in relation to long term debt. So what are the two aspects you are going to compare long term debt as well as your total assets of the firm. So that you will get total assets to debt ratio. So what is the formula? Total assets to debt ratio is equal to total assets divided by debt or total assets divided by long term debt. So hope you are clear about total assets to debt ratio where you are going to compare your total assets with that of total long term debt of the organization. Next third type of solvency ratio is proprietary ratio. So here you are going to compare your shareholders funds 
okay with that of capital employed so let us see this ratio indicates the proportion of total assets funded by the owners or shareholders so your proprietary ratio is equal to equity divided by net assets so you are going to compare your total equity that is shareholders fund with that of net assets of the firm or shareholders fund divided by total assets minus current liability so that you can get net assets so what are the comparison you have to make here shareholders fund as well as net assets of the firm so that your formula is proprietary ratio is equal to shareholders fund divided by net assets or shareholders fund divided by total assets minus current liability so this would be the formula now coming to the fourth type of solvency ratio that is interest coverage ratio so this ratio is also termed as debt service ratio this ratio is calculated by dividing the profit before charging interest and income tax so you are going to divide your profit before interest and income tax by fixed interest charges normally fixed interest charges will be given on debentures okay so what is the formula interest coverage ratio is equal to profit before charging interest and income tax divided by fixed interest charges so this will be the formula so if they don't give the interest directly we have to calculate based on the information what they have given in the question so we shall solve problem relating to that so time being you remember interest coverage ratio is equal to profit before interest and income tax divided by fixed interest charges now coming to the next ratio fifth ratio debt to capital employed ratio so here we are going to compare your long term debt divided by capital employed okay so this ratio is calculated by dividing long term debt divided by capital employed so you are going to take your long term debt divided by capital employed so there is a comparison between your long term debt as well as capital employed of the firm so what is the formula debt to capital employed ratio is equal to long term debt divided by capital employed or long term debt divided by net assets so how do you get net assets total assets minus current liabilities so that would be also the formula where we have no about it so your net assets is also the other formula is total assets minus current liabilities so your formula is long term debt divided by capital employed or long term debt divided by net assets so how do you get capital employed that is shareholders fund plus long term debt so the other formula for capital employed is shareholders fund plus other shareholders fund plus uh, other current liabilities so that you can get capital employed so this will be the formula of debt to capital employed ratio now let us see a problem relating to this so normally as per the new question paper pattern most of the time they have not or you don't get a question yeah, this is not a expected question in your examination but still for one as well as two marks question you can go through this so what is this debt equity ratio or they might ask you what is the formula of debt equity ratio so such type of questions will be asked now go through the problem here from the following information calculate debt equity ratio proprietary ratio and debt to capital employed ratio so they have asked three ratios here so what is the formula of debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund what is the formula of proprietary ratio that is shareholders fund divided by long term debt next debt to capital employed ratio long term debt divided by capital employed now they have given a certain information here so balance sheet asset 31st march 2018 so they have given equity and liabilities under that we have shareholders fund share capital reserves and surplus non current liabilities under that we have long term borrowings current liabilities they have given next they have given assets under that we have non current assets under that first one fixed asset non current investment and current assets so this is a problem now let us see or let us calculate one by one the ratio what they have asked so the first one is debt equity ratio so what is the formula of debt equity ratio long term debt divided by shareholders fund or net worth of the company now whether we know long term debt so if you see the question which is a long term debt here that is 
your long term borrowings so long term borrowing itself is long term debt so long term debt is equal to long term borrowings so they have given 150000 so we got long term debt now shareholders fund how to find out shareholders fund share capital plus reserves and surplus now see here shareholders fund we have share capital plus reserves and surplus that is 4 lakh plus five, uh, 1 lakh so that is 5 lakh so we got shareholders fund 5 lakh so we know shareholders fund also so how did we find shareholders fund share capital plus reserves and surplus that is rupees 4 lakh plus rupees 1 lakh that is rupees 5 lakh now you can apply the formula because we know both long term debt as well as shareholders fund so debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt is 1 lakh 50000 divided by shareholders fund 5 lakh so you will get 0 0.3 divided by 1 that is 0 0.3 is to 1 so you have to write in the form of ratio 0 0.3 is to 1 so this is about your debt equity ratio now coming to proprietary ratio so what is the formula proprietary ratio is equal to shareholders fund or equity divided by capital employed so equity divided by capital employed or shareholders fund so capital employed can also be calculated as total assets minus current liabilities now shareholders fund already we have calculated here so how much 5 lakh so we know equity or shareholders fund that is 5 lakh now how to find out capital employed that is shareholders fund plus long term debt so where is shareholders fund already we know shareholders fund so shareholders fund plus long term debt then you will get what capital employed so by seeing the earlier ratio itself you will get the answer so shareholders fund plus long term debt so that is shareholders fund plus long term debt 5 lakh plus 1 lakh 50000 that is 6 lakh 50000 the other formula to calculate capital employed is what total assets minus current liabilities now let us uh, use this formula here that is total assets minus current liability now let us go to the question so what is total assets so total assets is 7 lakh minus current liabilities so how much is current liabilities 50000 so 7 lakh minus 50000 so that will be the capital employed so you can use the other formula for capital employed that is total assets minus current liabilities so if you see here what is total assets so total assets is 7 lakh minus current liabilities so current liability is 50000 so 7 lakh minus 50000 it is 6 lakh 50000 so that will be the capital employed or you can use the formula capital employed is equal to shareholders fund plus long term debt so that is also fine so shareholders fund plus long term debt so 5 lakh plus 1 lakh 50000 it will be 6 lakh 50000 or else if you use this formula total assets was 7 lakh minus current liability was 50000 so that is equal to rupees 6 lakh 50 thousand so this will be what capital employed now you can directly apply the formula proprietary ratio is equal to that is shareholders fund 5 lakh divided by capital employed 6 lakh 50 thousand that is 0 0.77 divided by 1 so which has to be written in the form of ratio 0 0.77 is to 1 so hope you are clear about proprietary ratio Coming to the next ratio, debt to capital employed ratio. As the word itself tells, what is the formula of debt to capital employed ratio? Long term debt divided by capital employed or long term debt divided by net assets. So how do you get net assets? Your formula is total assets minus current liabilities. So now how to find out long term debt? So long term debt already we know. So we have already calculated here that is 1,50,000. So that is 1,50,000. Capital employed also we have calculated that is 6,50,000. I have told you the other formula is what? Total assets minus current liabilities. So 6,50,000. So that we know both the information. So you can directly apply the formula. Debt to capital employed ratio is equal to 1,50,000 divided by 6,50,000. So you get 0 0.23 divided by 1. So which has to be written in the form of ratio 0 0.23 is to 1. 
So hope you are clear about these three ratios. So what are the ratios we have discussed? Debt equity ratio. Your formula is long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Next was proprietary ratio. Your formula was shareholders fund or equity divided by capital employed. How to find out capital employed? So the other formula is shareholders fund plus long term debt or you can uh, use the formula total assets minus current liability is equal to capital employed. Now coming to the third one, debt to capital employed ratio, your formula is long term debt divided by capital employed. So hope you are clear about this question. Now moving on to the next one. So compute debt equity ratio and proprietary ratio for the following. Now what is the formula of debt equity ratio? So your formula is debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Now we shall uh, solve this problem here. So debt equity ratio. So this is first one debt equity ratio is equal to long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Long term debt divided by shareholders fund. Now let us see what are the long term debts we have. So if you see the particulars here long term debt that is 13 percent debenture as long term debt. So long term debt is equal to long term debt is equal to 13 percent debentures. So that is equal to how much is 13 percent debenture rupees 2 lakh. Now how to find out shareholders fund? So we don't have direct information about shareholders fund. So shareholders fund. So let us see what are the information they have given. So we have paid up share capital 5 lakh. So that comes under shareholders fund. So paid up share capital. Paid up share capital is equal to rupees 5 lakh. Next they have given net sales and cost of goods sold. So then if you deduct sales minus cost of goods sold, you will get either profit or loss. That is surplus or deficit. Now, so how to find out this? Net sales minus cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. So net sales is net sales is rupees 10 lakh minus cost of goods sold that is rupees 6 lakh. Now this is what surplus because the answer comes in positive. So it is surplus rupees 4 lakh. Now we know this is surplus. So we have to add surplus here paid up share capital plus surplus or statement of profit or loss. So surplus is how much? We had already calculated rupees 4 lakh. So total it is rupees 9 lakh. So this is shareholders fund. So how do we get shareholders fund? Paid up share capital plus surplus. Surplus net sales minus cost of goods sold, we will get surplus or deficit. If it is deficit, we have to deduct. Uh, if it is surplus, we have to add. So now you can apply the formula. So that is debt equity ratio. So here we shall write debt equity ratio is equal to. So long term debt. So long term debt already we have no that is rupees 2 lakh divided by shareholders fund is rupees 9 lakh rupees 9 lakh. So 2 lakh divided by 9 lakh. So we have to calculate 2 lakh divided by 9 lakh. So you will get 0 0.22 divided by 1 that is equal to 0 0.22 is to 1. So this will be debt equity ratio. Hope you are clear about it. 
Now coming to the next type of ratio that is proprietary ratio. So what is the formula? Shareholders fund divided by capital employed. So B, proprietary ratio is equal to shareholders fund divided by capital employed. Now shareholders fund already we have calculated. So shareholders fund is 9 lakh. So shareholders fund is equal to shareholders fund is equal to rupees 9 lakh. Now what is the formula of capital employed? So capital employed formula is shareholders fund plus long term debt. So capital employed capital employed is equal to shareholders fund plus long term debt. Now shareholders fund already we know that is 9 lakh plus capital employed. So shareholders fund 9 lakh plus long term debt 2 lakh. So shareholders fund rupees 9 lakh plus long term debt rupees 2 lakh. So that is equal to rupees 11 lakh. Now we know capital employed also, so we can apply the formula proprietary ratio is equal to proprietary ratio is equal to. So your formula is shareholders fund divided by capital employed. Shareholders fund is rupees 9 lakh divided by capital employed. Just now we have calculated rupees. 11 lakh. So that is equal to 9 lakh divided by 11 lakh. So you will get 0 0.82 divided by 1 which can be written as 0 0.8 is to 1. So this will be your proprietary ratio. So what is the formula of proprietary ratio? Shareholders fund divided by capital employed. Shareholders fund already we have calculated. Capital employed is equal to shareholders fund plus long term debt. So you will get 11 lakh. So you have to apply the formula. So your proprietary ratio is equal to 0.82 is to 1. So hope you are clear about this problem. So this is how you are going to calculate your debt equity ratio as well as proprietary ratio. So hope you are clear about this problem. So in my next session, we shall continue with the solvency ratio with few more problems. So hope you have understood today's session. See you all in my next session with the new problems as well as new topic. Till then, take care. Thank you.